What's going on, everybody? This is Bishop Brad coming to y'all, baby, on a video today on a beautiful, gorgeous beer. I'm a Mexico beer man. I've always enjoyed Tecate. I've always enjoyed Soul. I've always enjoyed Corona. I've always enjoyed, of course, Dos Equis. Um, Mexico beers have always been my favorite style of beers. Now, from what I gather... A lot of Mexico beers are from German brewmasters, uh, from what I gather, and I came across a beer that I'd never seen before, you know, Carta Blanca, I love Carta Blanca, there's so many Mexico styles, uh, I came across one that I'd actually never even seen the label before, it was, says, uh, Indio, Indio. It's got the Mayan Aztec a calendar type thing on it. Got a Mayan Aztec warrior on that baby mama jamma. Um, loving the gold and green, the bold Mexico Aztec style love from. Um, it says <clears throat> a darker color lager brewed with caramel malts and gives Indio a rich taste which balances its natural bitterness. Okay, so. Uh, on alcohol and all of that, on, on, on all, I don't know how percentage of this is it is. This is a taste test. Um, I, di I didn't come prepared. You know, I'm pretty sure there's other reviews out there, but you want an average guy going ahead and giving you his first impression on the Indio Cerveza, baby. Then here we row and here we go. Texas style, baby. Got my Bishop Brad mug. Here's, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take this. Dark beer. Beautiful beer, gorgeous beer. Digging it. Not used to having Mexico beers. Majority of Mexico beers that I drink are light. Um, loving the presentation of it. I, I've, I, I love it very much. I mean, it's, it's bold. It's, it's a uh, down home center of Mexico roots. You know, I, I truly give this on presentation. I give it an eight out of ten. True eight out of ten. This this beer looks full of love. All right, here we roll on aroma. It smells light. It smells it smells light. Almost like a. It's got that. Every Mexico beer, I guess it's from importing it, has that skunky type smell. This doesn't have the the skunky smell like Corona does or any of that. But you can tell it's been imported, made in Mexico. So, I love it though. I love that aroma. I'd give it a, I'd give it a seven out of ten. All right, let's roll. Woo, smooth, light, tad bitterness, but not much of it. I was expecting a very bold bitterness flavor. Mexico beers to me are very smooth tasting. This is a very smooth tasting beer. Excellent beer. I love this beer. You know, on flavor, I would give this beer, I would give it a strong 8 out of 10. I'd give it an 8 out of 10. Um, you know, on, 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 on all around product for this actual beer, the Indio. If you can find it, check this beer out. It is bomb diggity. Um, I, I, I truly give this a, a strong 8 out of 10. Strong 8 out of 10. Making me feel Mayan love from the heavens above, baby. Smooth. Tad bitter, but smooth. Just got that Mexico love kicking, man. This is Bishop Brad, baby, coming to you on your beers of the world on the the first beer I've ever had of Indio Cerveza. Uh, y'all check this beer out. I'll put this right down here in the description. Love y'all. See y'all on the next video. I'll put all the things about this beer right down here in the description as well. Y'all have a good one. This is your taste test. Bishop Brad coming to y'all. See y'all on the next video, baby. Bye-bye.